Hey everyone, I'm Joey with Joey's Balloon Company and today I'm going to teach you two ways to make a two balloon butterfly. First we'll make a large butterfly and then we'll make a small butterfly that can double also as a bracelet. You're going to need two 260 twisting balloons and your handy dandy balloon pump. Don't forget to like this video. It helps our channel out and it helps other people find this information as well. Let's get started. For the large butterfly you're going to want to blow up both balloons leaving about four finger lengths tail on the end. The first step is twisting these two balloons together by creating about a one inch bubble on each balloon and twisting these two bubbles together. At this point, give the balloons a squeeze just to soften them a little bit. This pushes the air towards the end of the balloon and softens the balloon a little bit so that it's less likely to pop. Next, we're going to twist these two balloons together again about a hand width apart from your first twist. Now we're going to bend the two sections that we just made and with one hand, grab the other twist. With the hand that I'm holding my balloon with, I'm going to try to get my fingers as close to the inside as possible to separate the balloons so that they don't rub against each other and pop. I'm basically just making the OK sign with this hand and twisting with my other hand. You should have something like this. Next, we're gonna twist these two balloons together again about two inches from the top of the inflated part. And we want to leave some tail on the end because we're gonna use it in just a second. So squeeze the balloons together about two inches from the top of the inflated part and twist them together. So these were the bottom wings that we just made and we are going to make the top wings the same way that we made these bottom wings. To make this as easy as possible on yourself, orient the balloon so that you have these two bubbles facing up. Next, you're gonna bend these middle sections by bringing this twist over here and connecting it with this twist right here. You should be able to grab the bottom wings with the hand that you are holding this twist with. Try to get these two twists as close together as possible and then take both of the top wings and start twisting. As you do this, don't try to keep these bubbles in front and just let them go wherever they're gonna go because we don't want them to pop and we can rearrange them later. Now you might have a jumbled mess right now and that's okay because we are done balloon twisting but we're not done with the balloon animal because we need to orient it so that it's recognizable as a balloon butterfly. In order to do that I'm going to take one of my one inch bubbles and put it on the bottom and that's going to be the body of the butterfly. My bottom wings are already oriented where I need them to be compared to this body. Now let's orient the top wings like this. You're going to want to orient the top wings so that they create a flat surface facing forward. You're also going to want to make sure that your two antennas are in front of your top wings and above the head, which is this purple bubble for me. You can orient the colors of your balloon butterfly so one half is entirely one color and the other half is entirely another color. I like to kind of mix it up, but do whatever looks best to you. Now we're going to want to create two little bubbles on top of our antennas. An easy way to do this is to pinch each antenna about halfway through the inflated part and squeeze the top part so that it goes to the top of this balloon. Make sure you cut off the passageway from the top part of your antenna and the bottom part of your antenna so air can't go back and forth. You want to keep this air in the top part and squeeze it to the top. I'm continuing to put pressure right here because I'm not going to let the air go back down. Once I have the air in the top of this antenna, it should be good to let go. If you need to put a little more air in the top of this, all you need to do is pinch this bottom part and the air will go up to the top. If you need this a little bit smaller, squeeze it and the air will go back down to the bottom part. All right, let's do it for our other antenna. All right, that's our balloon butterfly. Make sure to draw a face on it because people like it better if it looks cuter. Don't forget to like this video. It helps our channel and it helps other people learn these balloon shapes as well. Now we're gonna work on the small two balloon butterfly. We're gonna use one color for the butterfly's wings and then one color for the body and the bracelet. We're gonna start with the wings and blow up your balloon to about four finger lengths tail. First, we're gonna make a loop twist about a hand width apart, about four inches. Hold the nozzle with your thumb and index finger and the rest of your balloon with the rest of your hand. Then put a little pressure on this side of the balloon and twist your loop. Continue holding onto your nozzle throughout the entire twist, and then when you're done twisting, feed the nozzle back through the loop to lock it in place. Awesome! Now we're going to do another loop the same size. These are going to be the top wings. Fold the balloon over itself and size it so that you have two equally sized loops. Put a little bit of pressure on the opposite side of this balloon towards the middle of the twist right here, and then take your loop and go ahead and twist. 
Now we're gonna do two smaller loop twists and these are gonna be the bottom wings. Same concept, spin the balloon to make a slightly smaller loop, put pressure on your untwisted balloon towards this twist in here, and then pull out your loop and twist it. Now we're gonna make one more loop and this is gonna complete our butterfly wings. Remember if you get confused while you're twisting, just twist whatever you're working on. I'm working on the very last bottom pedal, so I'm gonna try to hold the rest of the balloon and only twist what I'm working on. Now we're gonna use the quick break off technique to get rid of the rest of this balloon. What we're gonna do is dig one of our thumbs up into the balloon so you can see my thumbnail coming through. Then I'm gonna grab it really close to where it's touching my thumbnail and then pull the balloon straight down where my thumb is and it should snap in half. Make sure to hang on to both sides or they'll go flying. Now let the air out of what's remaining right here and wrap it around these loops so that you can't see it. Now we just have to orient these butterfly wings. The same way we oriented the big butterfly wings, you're gonna to wanna to have these two bottom wings pressed up against each other and then the top wings creating a front face. If you want these top loops to be a little less pointy, you can stretch out your balloon to try to round it out a little bit. All right, now we can set our wings aside. Now it's time to add the body. For the body, you're only gonna to need to blow up about a three inch section. First, we'll make a one inch bubble in the top. Now we're gonna hide this nozzle because we don't really need it on top. I'm gonna hold this nozzle near the twist, pull up my one inch bubble and twist. What I just did is called an ear twist or a pinch twist because I pinched the balloons together while I was lifting it up and twisting. It also kind of looks like an ear. We're gonna end up making something that looks like an ear twist with a body and another ear twist on the bottom. So we're gonna make another twist about one inch from the bottom of this inflated part of the balloon. After you make this twist, flip it upside down. Now we're gonna make this an ear twist by pinching the air off right at the end here, holding it very close to this twist right here, and then pulling up the one inch bubble and twisting. Great, now we have something that should look just like that. We're gonna set this right in front of the wings we just made and use the rest of this tail to pull tight and wrap it around some of the wings a few times. Once you've secured the top part of your body, now you're gonna to wanna to wrap your tail around the bottom part of the body and secure that as well by pulling it tight and wrapping it around the wings a few times. So with the rest of our tail, this doesn't have to be a bracelet, but it's pretty cool to just wrap the end of our tail around the wings a few times and create a loop in the bottom here that can be a bracelet. If you're not in a rush with this balloon animal, you can add some antennas to it by adding a third balloon and blowing it up about three inches long. Squeeze the inflated part so you're not letting any air go back and forth and squeeze this air all the way to the end of your tail. Once you have something that looks like this, you can tie a knot in the bottom to make sure that the air does not go back and forth between the two. You can also skip that part if you just don't feel like doing it because when you wrap it around the neck, chances are the air will not go back and forth. Take the deflated part of your antennas and wrap it around the wings so that it gets stuck and it doesn't come undone. Orient the antennas so that they're directly behind the head, and that is your two or three balloon small butterfly bracelet. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for some more balloon twisting tutorials. If you live in the United States or Canada and you think you've got what it takes to work with us as a balloon twister or a balloon decorator, visit our website for more details. See you next time. This little butterfly's on top of the world. Be free, little butterfly. Doesn't know how to fly that well. I just climbed down from my roof and now we're gonna try to find the butterfly. If you think littering latex is bad for the environment, you're right. Although latex is a naturally occurring substance produced by many plants, it still takes four years to decompose, which is way better than plastics, which can be over a hundred years, but still not great for the environment. If you are gonna be twisting these balloon animals outside, please make sure all the balloons get disposed of properly. Our butterfly didn't actually make it all the way to the ground. Still good as new.